I feel smarter already. We're back with Dr. <laughs> Sanjay Gupta. It's called Keep Sharp, Build a Better Brain at Any Age. Um, I am f fascinated by that because you say that it doesn't automatically, your brain doesn't automatically age. There's a way to stay young. And there are all these tips in here to, to build actually new brain cells. You can build new brain cells? Yes, you can. I mean, and this is amazing. What I'm saying, I, I, even in the neuroscience community, you know, a couple decades ago, this wasn't really believed. It was believed you only built new brain cells twice, uh, at two times in your life. One, when you're a young child and your brain is still developing, or after someone has had some sort of injury, like a brain injury or a stroke. But now we know, and it's very clear, that you can continue to build new brain cells throughout your entire life. I mean, that's, it's a remarkable thing. And the ways to do it, and this is coming from the neuroscience, the research world, and the Global Council on Brain Health, who've been looking into this for years, the way to do it's a lot easier than people sort of realize. It can be done. We know there's places around the world where dementia hardly ever occurs. What do they have we don't have? We are all humans. So this means that so much of dementia is due to lifestyle, and so much of dementia can be addressed by lifestyle, which I just found to be an incredibly inspiring thing. That is, that's amazing. That's uh, because when I, I, I heard about this and I heard you can build new brain cells, I thought, well, first of all, I killed a lot in high school. <laughs> and then also during the pandemic, there's been a lot of brain cells that have been killed. So it's great to know that I can build some back. You, you, you absolutely can. And, and um, Ellen, I, you know, I spent two years like talking to neuroscientists all over the world. And I'm, an, I'm a brain surgeon. This is what I do. I was amazed that you could have so many profound effects on the brain. You could change it in such profound ways without having to cut it, like doing what I do. So it's really, it's very true. And I'll give you one example. Um, you, you, tonight for dinner, try eating with your non-dominant hand. Just try doing that. You're so used to eating with your dominant hand, you've got that motion perfect. That's the practice makes perfect part of your brain. But if you change it up, you're suddenly recruiting all these other areas of your brain. And that's what's the amazing thing. That's the neurogenesis uh, that, that we're talking about. So I hold the martini with my left hand. You're saying <laughs> I don't? I see. Um, that's fantastic. I, I'm, I'm reading this book, and I am going to uh, recommend it to uh, my mother, which will love this, because she, she does crossword puzzles and does what she can to keep her mind sharp. But this is going to be great. Um, I, I think you're fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us. Coronavirus Fact versus Fiction is available everywhere for you to listen to on podcasts. Um, and uh, we hope to, to see you soon. Come back on any time, Sanjay. What an honor, Ellen. Thank you. All Thank right, you for thanks. having me. We'll be back.